All right, so now we're going to go to the second quest called Expanding Horizons. In addition to summoning creatures, it was mana from your lands to cast sorceries. One time use spells that have a, a variety of immediate effects. For your second quest, you'll be using a black deck. Black specialty is removing your opponent's creatures. Your opponent is a Zura Mage, so blue. We arrived to this game already in progress. As you can see, a lot of dueling has gone on so far. But with, few, with no creatures on the battlefield, it will take a miracle to survive the next four turns. It's a Zur Mage's turn, and she attacks their last remaining creature, bringing your life total to two. That's not good. What is this creature? A man of war. It's a giant jellyfish. Just get it over with. I give up. This looks promising. You've drawn Assassinate, a sorcery. Unlike creatures and lands, sorcery have an effect and are put in the graveyard. So what does this do? In magic, your turn is split into five phases. Sorceries can be cast in either of your two main phases. So it looks like there's a main phase, followed by a combat phase, followed by another main phase, and then the end phase. That's only four. Confusing. Assassinate is a card that can destroy a creature of your choice as long as it's tapped. Since you're at two life, you'd better use it on a Zor Mage's creature before it kills you. Sure. Let's assassinate that guy. What do you ever do for me? Now Zor Mage will cast some spells. Divination allows the player to draw two cards. A signature blue spell. Won't give it to me, though. So he draws some cards, and he plays Windrake. Now your opponent has a creature that has a special ability. Zoom in to find what makes Windrake... Nah, whatever. Windrake has a flying ability, which means it can store over your ground defenses. You'll need to play a card that can de deal with this airborne threat. And what a nasty-looking dragon it is, too. Call him Norbert. Without another assassinate card, you have no way to destroy a Zur Mage's Windrake. What will you do to stay alive? I don't know. Maybe this guy. Flying, Death Touch, and Lifelink. So since they both have flying, I'm pretty sure this guy can block the other guy. Lifelink sounds good, and Death Touch sounds pretty nasty also. Let's just see what those do. They didn't attack me. That was foolish. Oh man, this guy's huge. Goliath thinks. This dude's an 8 7. Now you're in serious trouble. Goliath Sphinx can kill you with one hit. But the good news is that your vampire knight can kill any creature it deals damage to because it has death touch. Oh, so that's like another ability. And, you know, same with the purple swirlies. Play the creature you've just drawn Zombie Goliath, a 4 3. He's got some skeletons in his head. I guess it's better than having them in your closet. Here's an interesting decision. Do you attack with your Vampire Nighthawk? If you do, you will not have any untapped creatures to block the Goliath Sphinx with. Alright, so we don't want that. Because I don't want to lose the tutorial. That'd be embarrassing. She's attacking with a huge creature. Luckily, your Vampire Nighthawk has a Death Touch. This means that Vampire Nighthawk will kill any creature it deals damage to. So let's just let's get them blocking over there. That's good to know. Alright, I feel good about that. You've drawn a powerful sorcery. Rise from the grave, create creatures that are in a graveyard. Now take your chance to take that Goliath Sphinx as your own. Sure. Death is no excuse for disobedience, says Liliana Vess. Alright, things are coming up Millhouse. It appears safe to attack with your zombie Goliath. Alright, let's do so. He'll block, because he doesn't want to die. Much like me. Oh, but look, well, it looks like we can attack. Now swinging for the win, alright. 
put some pepper on it. Kabam. Kaboom. As you play more magic, you'll run into many kinds of spells and creature abilities. Look for spells that fit your playstyle. Join us in Quest 3, where we'll learn about spells with more permanent effects. Alright, sounds good.